So several years ago, Royal Caribbean, of course, had the huge refurbishment of Coco Cay, and that really revolutionized the private islands, especially in the Bahamas, for all cruise lines. And Carnival is taking notes, and they're doing it themselves. They announced this quite a while ago, but we got our first look at Celebration Key. What's going on, everybody? My name is Brandon. If you like cruise news, cruise vlogs, and ship tours, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to be notified every time we upload a new video. We have lots of ships riding from Port Canaveral and lots of other ship tours. This one's going to be a Carnival focus. We do have a couple Carnival cruises coming up, and I'll mention those in just a few minutes. But we are actually going to be visiting Celebration Key here in 2025. Twice. Long story. Anyways, back on topic. Carnival has announced and given us our first look at Celebration Key their newest private island coming to Grand Bahama Island over in the Bahamas to, I would say, compete with Coco Cay that Royal Caribbean has for their ships and their cruise line. Back in 2019, there was a huge, huge refurbishment that Royal Caribbean did for Coco Cay from a sandbar with some trees on it to this massive, massive destination in the Bahamas. We saw something similar with Ocean K from MSC. They have their own private island. They built it up, made it really nice looking, made it its own little beach club, all that type of thing. And now Carnival's getting in on the action with Celebration Key. The first look that we have of this island is just incredible. So it looks like the biggest thing is that we're going to have a dock, which is going to be great. Uh, tender ports, love them, hate them. They're never as good, I would say, as a, a port that has a dock. Plus, you get to go there a little bit more frequently. One of the biggest issues with Norwegian Cruise Line and their private island is uh, Great Stirrup Key is the fact that there is no dock. Without there being a dock, if there's any sort of even choppy waters, it can make tendering operations very risky and very unsafe. So there's a lot of times, a, a lot of times, really, that... Norwegian can't go to their private island because of rough seas or I wouldn't even say rough seas sometimes it's really not much at all but tendering can just be a little risky at times especially when it gets a little bit choppy so having a dock is going to be one of the biggest biggest advantages for this new island that Carnival Cruise Line is building so they definitely took some good notes from Royal Caribbean there and built a dock so from what it looks like, you're going to come off of the pier into a large beach area. There's lots and lots of beach area just all the way across the front. Almost gives me vibes of Grand Turk. And if I'm not mistaken, it, I believe I've been told or I, I've heard that this beach area is a mile long, like a one mile long beach, which is pretty crazy um, to have that long of a beach, which is really neat to, you know, kind of make that one of the big selling points. And one of the big things is, hey, come off this pier and you walking right on to a mile long beach which I'm covered in umbrellas as we can see here in the photo uh, and plenty of places to you know just hang out it even looks like they've got some huts to where or like cabanas kind of like we do in Coco Cay um, I'm sure those will probably be paid or you have to pay for those kind of like we do in Coco Cay so that that's really neat and then you also kind of continue off into the main hub area as you come off of that pier into this little circular area got a couple buildings maybe some dining or just some food i know one of the big things with royal caribbean is that they have like those snack shacks kind of all over the island maybe that is that's it or maybe it's like kind of the buffet style restaurants um, but then of course as you keep going through you've got a this is a massive pool. I don't know if this is like a pool or if if this is something that kind of there's an inlet where this is filled up naturally with water right here and it's like still part of the ocean. I don't know or if this is a true pool. But this water area is massive. Just insane. It looks like if this is actually a pool, it's got to be one of the largest pools in the world, I would assume, cuz this is this is huge. One of the bigger things that I think that may have Coco K topping Celebration Key is the whole water park idea. I do see this little castle like structure here in the middle. Kind of looks like it has some slides in it. It definitely does have some slides, but it, I don't think that's going to be quite the extent of what we see in Coco K. There's like 13, 11 or 13 slides in Coco K. 
which they are amazing to do, by the way. The tallest slides in North America, some free fall, like drop slides, some boomerang style slides, like it's crazy. The water park experience in Coco Cay is something to definitely try out. It is really incredible. And I like to do that as much as I can when I go there. I think we're doing that next month on Allure. I'm not 100% sure on that yet though. But then as you go through the castle, because it looks like the walkway continues through the castle, looks like we have some more buildings in the back area there. So probably maybe some shopping areas. I'm not 100% sure, but most likely either shopping or some food areas to eat. And then it also extends just all the way down towards the end of this beach area. So it looks like there's even more that's hidden kind of beyond what we can really see here. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of bars, lounges, things like that all over the place too. So they really, they're not showing a whole lot here, but they are showing a lot at the same time. So it doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. So lots of cabanas, lots of places to hang out and everything. I could definitely see this being as large of an area as this looks. I don't know if crowd control is going to be a big deal, just given how much there seems to be. Because I don't think they'll do it, but it's also always a possibility. You know, what if we end up with two XL or two Mardi Gras class ships sitting right here? I doubt they'll ever do that. But just for the sake of, you know, thought process here, it, even with that many passengers, with 10,000 passengers, I don't think the island would really get that overwhelmed if it really came down to it. And if we look at this photo here, either this is going to be the front side or like, I guess, one of the main areas. But if the dock is actually in this position, like it is in this original rendering when they announced it, there's a whole lot left behind this that we're not seeing yet. So we could see a full on water park, we could see, you know, a zip line, we could see, we could see so much more, we don't know yet. So if the dock is in the original spot on this original rendering, when they first announced this, it, we could very well only be seeing about half of this island, really. And going back to my point about the two XL class ships, it does say that the dock is large enough to handle two of them at the same time. So Again, for the sake of passenger capacity, I don't know if that'll ever happen, but if that does ever happen, sign me up because I want to be there for that. Sounds really cool. Now, this island is going to be located on Grand Bahama Island, so this is actually where Freeport Bahamas is. Freeport Bahamas is kind of just a very small port area. There's actually a dry dock area there. Uh, there was actually one time I sailed on Carnival Liberty a couple years ago where we actually saw a ship out of the water. I think it was Grandeur of the Seas, if my memory is correct. Um, I'll notice because the image of that is right here in front of you. But I'm pretty sure it was Grandeur of the Seas. It was up out of the water and in full view of us and for us to look at. I think even Celebrity Summit was there. Something was there. I think there were one or two ships there, but it was, it was crazy. It was really cool to see. But other than the neat, nerdy side of that with... For cruise nerds, seeing a ship out, out of the water and in dry dock, there's not a whole lot going on in Freeport. And anybody that's been to Freeport can probably vouch for that. Um, it's kind of just a, a tiny little area with some pop-up tents and a couple shops. So I think this was much needed, and I think it'll be really cool to have Carnival have their own special area like this. They do have Princess K, and they also have Half Moon K, which is... Private islands for Princess and Hull in America, respectively. and But there's nothing that Carnival actually uses. So these are just subsidiary companies, you know, or the Carnival owns that owns these private islands. But Carnival but Carnival is primarily the one that uses them. So it would be really cool to have Carnival have their own true area or their own true island to call their own, their own private island, which is going to be really, really neat. But as of right now, that's really all we know. We do know that 12 ships are currently scheduled to be going there on a pretty regular basis. It sounds like they're going to start doing what they're doing with Royal Caribbean and Coco Cay. Just about every ship, especially the Oasis class and the Bahamas cruises, it seems like almost every ship and every itinerary goes to Coco Cay. For every ship that's based in Florida and just North America in general, I know the Galveston ships don't really seem to be going there very often, 
Very rare if it ever does. But anything based out of Florida seems to be going to Coco Cay. That's going to be the same thing here with Celebration Key with Carnival Cruise Line. And looking at this list, they're actually going to be sending some of those Galveston and New Orleans ships over there as well. So let me just read off the list. And just to go ahead and put the first two out here, Carnival Glory is going to be doing the three and four night sailings from Port Canaveral like she's going to be doing here soon when she trades places with Carnival Liberty. But I'm booked on that as soon as I started making it. Yeah, fun fact. When I started making this video, I was doing my little bit of research here, and I saw how good the prices were, and we booked we booked Carnival Glory. I'm already sailing on her in September of 24. Now we're sailing on her in September of 25. And also, Carnival Freedom. Realized we hadn't been on Freedom yet. We booked Freedom for Celebration Key in October of 2025. So those two ships are going to be going there. Carnival Freedom's over in dry dock right now, and I really want to sail on her once she's all prettied up and ready to go. So that's kind of why we justified that one. But she's going to be doing four and five night sailings from Port Canaveral like she currently is, but now she's just going to look good while doing it instead of having a shark fin. Those two ships out of the way. We have Mardi Gras is going to be sailing from Port Canaveral as well. So those are the three ships in Port Canaveral that are going to be sailing there. Doesn't look like we're going to have Carnival Vista sailing to Celebration Key. Um, or unless they just haven't announced that just yet, maybe they're going to swap a different ship in. Who knows? Um, I know Venezia is going to be sailing out of Port Canaveral in 2025 as well. Booked on that one. It's going to be a Carnival year in 2025. I've got to say that. But anyway, so we could see Venezia possibly added to this list. We could also see Carnival Vista or whatever is doing the six and eight night sailings from Port Canaveral in 2025. Uh, Vista is going to be doing it next year and I believe in 2025 as well. But she's not on this list just yet, but they may make some itinerary changes soon. So those are the Port Canaveral ships. Then we're going to skip over to Galveston, Texas. Crazy that they're going to be sending Galveston ships over here. Carnival Dream is going to be offering eight-night sailings from Galveston, Texas over to the Bahamas and to Celebration Key. Carnival Legend also was just recently announced to be going over to Galveston. She's going to do several 10-day exotic Eastern Caribbean cruises where she is going over to Celebration Key as one of those. So it sounds like it's not going to be too, too often that those ships go over there, but there are a few Galveston ships on this list, so cool to know. Carnival Liberty is going to do a couple seven and eight day sailings from New Orleans. That's currently what Carnival Glory is doing. That's when I think it's April or May of 2024. They're going to swap places with Carnival Glory. Carnival Pride, Baltimore, Maryland is going to be sailing a couple. Her seven day sailings are going to be visiting Celebration Key. Kind of like how the New York sailings for Royal Caribbean will normally go down to Jacksonville, Florida with Carnival Elation is going to keep doing that as well. She does four and five night Bahama cruises already, and she's going to continue doing that. But now, she's going to have a really cool stop, Celebration Key. Norfolk, Virginia. Interesting. We have the Carnival Sunshine is actually moving from Charleston up there soon. And she's going to be doing a couple six and eight night sailings that go down to Celebration Key. And then we have Carnival Spirit doing six and eight night sailings from Mobile, Alabama. Looks like there's six additional ships that have not been added to this list, but as of today, of me filming this, those are the ships that are booked or do have active bookings and openings to go to Celebration Key in the next year in 2025. Celebration Key is going to be opening up in July of 2025, so it looks like the first sailing, I believe, is either the first um, or about mid-month for July of 2025, so... Not too much longer. We really only have about a year and a half. So progress has got to be really far along if we only got about a year and a half until this is ready. So it looks like a very incredible island. I'm excited, excited enough to go twice <laughs> within the first few months of the of this area coming out. So very, very excited. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Do you think Coco K is still better? I don't know yet. I'll have to find out for myself and I will be finding out for myself. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. It sounds like we've got a lot more information on this coming in the near future as we get closer and closer to this opening up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Give a like, and we'll see you in the next video.